right, in this video, I'll share with you a couple of interview tips. Um, it's not a beginner's uh, this thing. It's uh, more like uh, intermediate to advanced. Beginner tips will be prepare yourself for the interview, write down the questions. I'm not going to get into that. Uh, that maybe you can check one of my older videos, which I made around six, seven years ago. This will be more based on intermediate and advanced skills okay uh, how I got the topic was I had a session with my client who is preparing for his final interview okay now uh, see for those of you who still don't understand the interview process the interview process is not to impress most of the people what they try to do is impress the person like give amazing answers and uh, over the top uh, achievements I always tell people listen you're shooting yourself in the foot okay because if you put a standard that is so high uh, you'll either have to maintain it or uh, you'll get in trouble or conversely the person who's taking an interview has a maturity to see through the bullshit that you're doing and uh, just as you and I if someone would give us a hundred dollar bill one is fake one is real we always prefer the real one nobody wants a fake personality especially companies when they have to invest in you train you yeah so people avoid avoid impressing people okay and especially our Indians uh, avoid putting on an accent avoid trying to be jazzy and smooth in fact one of the biggest uh, challenges that I see some of our Indians have is some of them never wear a suit okay because obviously uh, Indians work in the Middle East or Indians work in India the because the climate is very hot and humid unless there is a meeting or there is a specific event people generally don't wear suits like for example in the uh, in the West where it's cooler okay so when you're wearing something always make sure that you're wearing something that is comfortable that is stitched to your body okay make sure that you look the part and don't <laughs> don't overly do it man some people the way they do it is as if they're going for a marriage uh, and uh, you know like once again you go for the interview you made sure that you got a facial you made sure that your beard was trimmed your hair was gelled you dressed up so incredibly amazing and impeccable you wore cufflinks and a nice big red tie and but then when you come to work subsequently once you're selected you dress up shabby or you dress up subpar there again you'll shoot yourself in the foot okay in fact what I tell people is focus more on substance be very clear who you are be clear what you stand for be clear about what you can offer the company in terms of your skills you know and uh, don't don't try to make it sound like you're God's gift to mankind. In fact, if I could sum up the most important uh, trait in interviews, which I told you, don't uh, uh, impress, express, would be to be able to communicate your thoughts, who you are, what you want, why does the job suit you, in an articulate, sincere and genuine manner. Because if you can do that with confidence, with belief, now, confidence doesn't mean putting your nose up and, and uh, showing, yeah, smile. Confidence is that innate trait where you speak to someone, even if they don't smile, even if they don't try to impress, you can feel it, you can sense it. So you need to have that. How? That is a totally different video. But either you have it or you don't have it. If you don't have it, it'll take you weeks and months to constantly prepare. 
and i'll tell you uh, even with my clients they always make the mistake of uh, you know like a pendulum sometimes going extreme left and sometimes extreme right okay one one final thing i'll leave you with okay uh whenever i conduct the interview process the coaching that i do with my clients don't make it easy don't make it fun don't make it predictable ask the toughest questions first and record yourself and ask yourself am i convinced with this answer okay when i conduct interviews i literally break my client i literally break them i give them a very tough time it's more like a stress interview in fact i make sure i you know i stick to you know i pay attention to each and every word they say and if a word is out of place i completely crucify them i you know ragged all them and they like what the hell and some have even broken down and cried now you might be thinking what is the point of doing this well because because i made you go through such a tough experience you have experienced the worst with me that interview will be a cake walk and that is where majority of my clients majority they say i went for the interview it was a no big deal but then obviously i need to take them to the next level i can't have them be overly confident because remember the success of an interview is obviously if you get the job but then you can't just do it with a you know golden tongue you need to have the experience and you know you need to fit within their budgetary framework so ask the toughest questions and one one final tip i'll give you as a bonus whenever you have your mock sessions write down after you've recorded it write it down word for word i sometimes make my clients write down every word they have said sometimes it might come to a paragraph sometimes it might come to a page i actually make them write and then we go through each and every word and then i ask them why did you say this paragraph what does it mean why did you use this crutch words um uh, uh or basically why did you say uh, why did you give this vague example like i uh, i have really contributed and uh, really achieved the mark what do you mean by achieve the mark and then once we have the whole paragraph we eliminate all the unwanted sentences and finally come down to the crux so what were you trying to say here and the whole paragraph sometimes the whole paragraph or the whole page we sum it down into one line and that is a power statement and uh, how do we get that that? that's another uh, long video in itself anyway all i want to tell you is before you go for an interview remember the guy is smarter than you the guy has seen more candidates than you will ever meet people he is like your father you you can't impress him you can't bullshit with him maybe you can fool a junior guy but not a senior guy and uh, they've seen a lot of people so don't think you're there to create such a splash that he will be like wow you're god's gift to mankind they've seen it all so be prepared make sure you're the best and when you go there you know know that after you finish that uh, you respected the person you respected the opportunity respected the moment so much that there was not an iota that you could have done better all right and yeah for those of you who have a mentor sit down with your mentor after you finish your interview and uh, have the feedback session so that you know where you can improve and get better so this is what i wanted to leave you with if you have any questions related to interviews put them down below and uh, yeah i remember the measure of did you do well in an interview is not wow you were so impressed and no did they offer you the job did they offer you the job did they negotiate the salary did they you know for, try their level best to keep you that is a hallmark of a successful interview
not oh he was so impressed he shook my hand and i never heard from him or i got a regret letter that's stupid all right guys take care this is my signing off chal